Hi, I'm Pastor Goodman, and this is the Largely Catechized Life. Here's a crazy thought. Imagine for a second God actually wants to, like, take care of you. A lot of us are okay with the concept, but the problem is that when we actually look for it to start happening, well, we're just of the opinion that it should look a whole lot cooler than it actually does. Like when God takes care of us, it should just look wild. Like stuff should glow in the dark or float in front of us. Like it, it, if I'm hungry, the sandwich should just appear before me and hover and, and just... The problem is that that's not how it works. The problem is that most of the time that God does miracles in front of us, they look awful boring, but at the same time, you want to see a miracle. God put me in charge of two little people, and he called them my kids. And, well, they're not cold in the street right now. God put me in charge of two congregations, and he said, preach, and the buildings haven't burned down yet. That is nothing short of miraculous. The, uh, the truth of it is God knows about all of your needs. He really does. And he gives, he provides, he takes care of through ordinary sinners with ordinary jobs. But in this, he accomplishes miracles. You know where you get your food? Your folks who defended your liberty, your president, your government, and, and more. Where will God speak to me? How will he tell me what's true and what's good? And what's virtuous? How will he tell me about his promises? And where will he deliver them to me? Oh, well, through your pastor. Luther writes, Thus we have two kinds of fathers presented in this commandment, fathers in blood and fathers in office, or those to whom belong the care of the family and those to whom belongs the care of the country. Besides these, there are yet spiritual fathers who govern and guide us by the word of God. See, God loves you so much that he would actually give you three dads to take care of you. He, he would give you a, a dad to take care of your family, a dad to take care of your country, and a dad to take care of your soul. We have three fathers, the familial father, the governmental father, the spiritual father, and God works in an orderly way through this to take care of you in different facets. Each one is a way that God would work, and each one God would work differently. In fact, a lot of the problems come when the three dads look at each other and realize that none of them are particularly great men, and so they try to start doing each other's jobs for them, that when your government thinks your parents aren't doing a great job, and so they try to redo it when your church thinks your government is terrible, and so it tries to replace it when all of these dads go to war, everything just turns into a complete mess. When the truth is God gave you these three fathers so that when he works through each one, you can know that he'll get his job done. This is the great hope that you have, that even through a sinful father, your parents, God would still take care of you in a really boring, unassuming way. Through your president, in, in, a, in a government that is far from perfect, God has still managed to give us great liberty and freedom. And so too with your pastor, even though he's a sinner, God has actually promised to speak his true word, deliver his real gifts of word and sacrament, that your sins would be forgiven, not because that your pastor is so virtuous or charismatic, not because he is impressive in any way, shape, or form, but because God actually promised to work here. And, well, he's pretty good at his job. The great hope that God shows in giving us all of these different vocations is that he shows us where we all fit in the puzzle. God actually establishes not only that we have people that we can trust, but that we have specific places where we can go for specific help, that we have a, a place where we fit in to be taken care of, and that he will not fall short of his promises to do it. The great hope that God gives us here is that through all of the different people in our lives God gives us, he will deliver to us every promise, even if it's an unassuming way. Every miracle will be handed over to you because God wants to see you taken care of that much. Through governmental, through paternal, through spiritual father, God takes care of all of your needs. Higher Things thanks you for your support. Please continue to support the work we do with youth by going to our website at higherthings.org, clicking on support and donating securely through PayPal. Your gift helps us in our mission to support pastors, youth workers, and parents in daring our church's youth to be Lutheran.